So these hours of chanting the holy name, we should take as with as sincerity as possible. <clears throat> this is the main problem a person face in spiritual life. That when his every activity becomes a mechanical activity, then he lose the taste. Then he don't get the spirit, strength, energy, inspiration, encouragement to fight against the lower natures of ourself. And eventually he becomes succumb to the lower natures or to the provocations of Maya. Let us take shelter of these prayers. And the best prayer is the holy name. And it becomes the best prayer when we really take shelter of this holy name in order to in order to end our endless struggle in this ocean of material existence. We can never we can never cross this ocean of material existence by our caliber, by our endeavor, by our efforts. We'll become tired and we will be drowned in this ocean. Prabhupada was saying in this one lecture, dedicate your life for Krishna. That Prabhupada was saying that even one inch we are lifted above the ocean level, we can feel relief and we can get all the energy back. And that is our prayer to the Holy Name. That is our prayer to the Lord through the Holy Name that kindly pick me up from this condition and accept me as the dust of your lotus feet. Our condition is no better than a rat suffering from suffocation. No matter how much clever we are, no matter how much knowledgeable we are materially, no, no matter how much caliber do we have, at any moment we are so insignificant, at any moment by the, you know, by simply one signal of the Lord and is not even the Lord, by one signal of His material energy we can be devastated, we can be nowhere, finished. The entire history of the world proves that. But when we forget this insignificant nature of ourself, we forget to take shelter of the Lord. We think we are so clever. We are so having so much caliber. We can do everything by our own capability. 